हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पांडे गुरुजी यूट्यूब चैनल सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद दी प्रैक्टिकल सेट व्हिच इज कंटेन दी रियल टाइम सीक्वल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सो दिस इज दी टोटली बेस्ड ऑन द रियल टाइम मींस इफ यू अटेंडिंग एनी इंटरव्यू दिस टाइप ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इंटरव्यू विल पुट इन द डूइंग द इंटरव्यू सो बेसिकली आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द सीरीज Uh, which is the practical set and uh, each series uh, each set uh, i will include uh, 5 to 10 question okay so uh, you can just uh, uh, do the practice so you can also find uh, this all the question uh, under the video uh, playlist so basically i already started uh, for the uh, providing training on the complete sequel so uh, here we, you can find the all the sequel training so uh, i already created the playlist that is the playlist name is the uh, complete sequel database tutorial uh, uh, beginner to advanced so you can uh, find the entire video or the concept point of view so uh, once you learn this all the video uh, so you will learn the concept so the next phase will be the how you can implement the whatever the learning uh, into the real time okay because uh, if you not able to utilize the concept into the real time scenario based question uh, then it very difficult to uh, solve any type of the uh, query related question or the uh, scenario based question uh, which is the common in the interview they will ask you so i already provided the uh, real time database each and everything and the series uh you can go and watch all the video here whatever series by series so you first understand the concept and then uh, you can jump to the practice session so uh both you together in the free and if you have any question uh which uh, not able to solve you during the interview uh you can put the question uh, on the uh, comment box okay so i i also taken some of the interview question which is the student ask into the uh, video comment that uh, difference between the ct or the someone ask ct and the temp table so lots of question uh, uh, i receive from my student who learning into the either online uh, one to one or the youtube so if you also interested to learn the complete sequel uh, one to one with me uh, you can just log in pande guru ji dot graphy dot com uh, which is i will mention into the uh, comment bo- uh, description box and you can find the new batch uh, which i am going to start from the 5th of february so every month uh, i am starting the uh, one batch so this is the one to one zoom training and uh, we have a couple of the mock interview in this training program a uh, interview preparation concept each and everything uh, covered in this program so this is basically 1.5 month uh, one to one session program and the fees will be only 4199 okay so only one day left uh, so uh, uh, please if you not enroll uh, just you can go and enroll this uh, courses which you directly to, uh, uh, learn with one to one uh, with me so uh, let's start with this uh, uh, set one okay so uh, the question will basically uh, the uh, table will be used which uh, database i installed into the uh, uh in the video number 3 and 4 so just you can install and use the all the database and first you can pause this uh, video you can take the question and try to solve uh, first if and uh, once the you solve and then you can complete the video watching and try to compare where you missing and please uh, let me know uh, the feedback how many question you uh, able to solve so i want to know uh what is the status okay so this like this we can uh, uh, figured out uh, who, uh, how many question you able to solve so uh, let's start with this uh, first question so the first question is the uh, find the total number of uh, uh, bachelor english education uh, customer so uh, question will be asked how we can find the total number of the a uh, bachelor in english uh, education so basically we have the cust- uh, dim customer table and uh, in the dim customer table uh, we have one column that is the uh, english education uh, so in the english education uh, need to be find out how many uh, 
and bachelor is there okay so you need to use the uh, concept uh, which is you learn in the sql like the aggregated function now the next one is the uh, find the average yearly income of the guest in spanish occupation so this question is basically also the uh, based on the aggregated function so uh, this set one is the basically i use for the uh, initially uh, like the uh, starting level that is the beginner level question uh, then after the set 1 to 10 after the set 10 uh, you will find some type of the complex interview question so i will start first the beginners then we will jump one to one a uh, little bit hard question okay so this is the first set so no worry about you you find some type of the uh, small question uh, but uh, this is the also the real time so try to solve uh, so now the third question is uh, write the query to find the first 10 letter from the address okay so we have the address column and also find the total length of the address from the deem customer table okay so uh, you need to use the deem customer table and uh, uh, from the address and column you need to find the uh, first 10 letter and also the how many letter will be available into the address uh, fourth one question is the uh, find the maximum and the minimum yearly income of the uh, management English occupation okay so uh, management of English occupation means that you need to figure out the uh, column okay because uh, if you work in the real time they will not ask you the column name or the table name so you need to uh, find out table name and column name which, which column uh, we need to be consider next one is the write the query to find the age when the employee join the organization so uh, this is a little bit uh, a moderate level question okay so uh, you need to figure out at what age uh, the employee join the organization so this type of the this question is basically uh, one of my student who attend the interview on the uh, co uh, cognizant uh, so uh, during the one to one interview uh, they ask this question and the student have uh, a student have doesn't have any experience he was in fresher okay so he is in fresher so they ask they put this question on fresher level so uh, need to, suppose i join any organization six years back so what is the age of the employee at that time okay so you need to put the uh, date time concept so to solve this question you need to go with the date time uh, uh, video series which is i already provided so you can able to solve it so uh, just uh, you can try to solve all this question and uh, then you can uh, uh, you can uh, see the video how i am going to solve this question so let's jump to the sql server management studio and solve all the question uh, one by one so uh, jumping to the sql server management studio and uh, i think uh, this is a management studio and uh, first i selected the complete sql training so uh, this is the practical set one okay so uh, so the first question is uh, find the total number of the uh, bachelor english education customer okay so bachelor english education customer uh, so you need to take this uh, deem customer table so here you can see when you uh, retrieve the data from the table like select star from uh, table name okay so uh, so you can see one of the column is available uh, which is the uh, bachelor uh, in, uh, which is the bachelor english education so english education column is there and here you can see bachelor we have the high school we have the partial college okay you have the graduate degree but the question is saying that uh, find the total number of the bachelor english education so uh, we need to use the count function okay i, I use the count uh, because the uh, the performance increase you can also use the star so both are the same uh, but uh, if you put the star and one the performance uh, is the good for the uh, one uh, okay uh, i already discussed in detail in video and the next one is the uh, need to be group here so if you put the english education uh, you will get the all the count uh, for the all this uh, uh, like high school partial college uh, graduate bachelor degree but my question is saying that uh, we need to uh, 
find the for the English education uh, for the which is the bachelor. So you need to filter out. So always we, you you need to use the having clause uh, in the aggregated function. So uh, once you use the having English education is bachelor. So if you execute this uh, part of the code, uh, you can find the uh, uh, total number of bachelor available is five three five six. So this is the output. Uh, now the second question is saying the find the average yearly income of the uh, guest in Spain, uh, Spanish occupation. So this is the Spanish occupation is there. So if you uh, select the dim customer table, uh, you need to same use the Spanish occupation and you need to put the guest in. So this is the average AVG is the basically uh, used to find the average yearly income and uh, here we need to put the alias name of the column. So uh, you will get the a uh, derived column name. So uh, average yearly income is 92325. So if you have the understanding how we can use the group by clause, uh, how we can use the having clause, uh, what is the function to find the average, a uh, maximum, minimum, then you are able to solve this question quickly. And uh, uh, this is a very beginner level question if you attend the an interview. And if you are not able to solve this type of the question, uh, definitely there is no chance to get the job okay so the next question we have uh, the find write the query to find the 10th letter from the address and also find the total length so let me split it so you can better understanding okay so and also find the total length of the address so within one query you need to find the first 10 letter okay and the total length so i already discussed the string function to find the first letter starting we you need to use the left uh, middle we can use the substring and uh, also we discuss the right okay uh, that is i'm saying that the concept is very important so first you can understand the video by you learn the concept then you can try to solve this question and uh, next one is the address line uh, so uh, we need to take the first 10 and the second question is saying that this is the alias name I put it uh, for the column and total length so, and the total length uh, so if you execute this code okay so you will get the uh, first 10 length this one and total length this if I put the star so you will get additional all the column but if you remove the star you will get only two column okay so you will get only two column so this is the first length 10 length and in the end of the uh, line you can also put the length one address line one so you will get data clear okay and uh, here you can see first 10 length uh, address line so before you can put the uh, like dim customer keys there okay so you you can see uh, cust uh, customer key you can put okay so you will get the which customer we have if you additional column you want to put just for the uh, which customer we have this length you can also put the first name or the last name first name uh, uh, last name so uh, you will get the better understanding of the which customer we have the data so this is the customer key first name last name first 10 liter total length and this is the address so this data output look like good okay so like this you can provide the output so the interviewer will be impressed and there, there are chances to uh, selection okay so now the uh, next question we have defined the maximum and the minimum yearly income of the management uh, uh, management english occupation okay so basically you need to use the uh, maximum for the maximum value and minimum is the minimum value yearly income are uh, they asking for the uh, management uh, english occupation so uh, you need to use the group by clause English education and uh, here the uh, English education you need to put the filtration purpose uh, uh, management so uh, if you execute you will get the uh, maximum and the minimum yearly income uh, of the English, edu English education is the ma ma management like this. Uh, now this is a very uh, important question if you have the understanding uh, of the fifth, uh, question number fifth that uh, uh, you know the exact date time function then you able to solve it so a same thing write the query to find the age when the employee uh, join in the organization 
so how we can find the age uh, the basically two day date we subtracting from the two day date to, to the birth date uh, but uh, here the requirement is uh, we need to uh, find when the uh, employee join so a deem employee table just you need to put the date different year birth date hiring date and from the deem employee table so uh, you get the age uh, when the employee join but if the, anyone asks you how you can find the age of the employee simply doing the hiring date just you can put the gate uh, date if you put the gate date this is the actual date is there okay so now today date okay so uh, today date is 41 for employee key but if you execute this one uh, when the employee join the organization is 25 years so uh, so 25 years minus uh, employee ID key minus 41 like um, 16 years they have the tenuity in the organization so now you can see uh, this is 2006 so how you can find also tenuity of the uh, any of the uh, employee you can just uh, uh, put the uh, gate date uh, by the hiring date so in the uh, same column uh, you need to put here like for example I am putting here uh, like uh, this uh, this is the date okay so uh, this is the date you can put here so this is this is the basically they giving the uh, uh, when the uh, employee the age okay so this is the this data is giving the age of the employee okay so you can put the Elias name uh, for the better understanding and uh, this you need to put the Elias name like uh, uh, age you can put the age uh, when something uh, join okay so joining when join age when join so if you execute this complete code okay you will get two output okay so you will get two output uh, that is the when the age is join 25 and now this is the current age so before you can just put the customer key uh, so uh, you will get better understanding like uh, we put it here the customer key right so before uh, if you put this customer key so you will get better understanding which customer data is coming so this is the employee key there because table name is different okay so just you can uh, copy this uh, press the alt f1 and you can just manually copy the data uh, from here and you can just paste it okay so uh, you will get the which employee key we have this age and uh, if you want to find some uh, in the same thing like uh, what is the tenuity of this employee okay so tenuity is the basically uh, nothing but uh, when the uh, employee had the tenure okay so uh, just uh, means what experience have the employee in the organization so uh, basically here uh, you need to put the hiring date okay so if you put the hiring date means how many years of experience have the employee in the organization so now if you execute so here you need to uh, uh, total uh, total experience okay you can put like this uh, so uh, you will get the total experience so in this question we solve three question uh, how you can find the age how you can find the uh, age of the employee when they join the organization how you can find the total experience of the employee so total experience the employee have the 16 years okay so like if you have this type of the understanding of the date different function so uh, you can uh, solve any question so i will continue uh, this type of the practical set uh, to help you out to uh, solve any type of the question okay so if you have any question or if you have new question and if you attend any interview or not able to solve the question uh, you can put the question on the comment box uh, i will pick up the question and explain this uh, video okay so uh, thank you all for the watching and uh, we'll meet again in next video thank you so much so if you are uh, just new into this channel i'm just requesting to everyone please uh, do subscribe and share this video thank you